Hey, I'm really hungover. Uh, one of the nice things about A, eating on my own, and B, having the van, is that when I shoot these weddings and, you know, I get, I finish taking photos around 11.30, I can pack most of my gear up, put it in the camper, and uh, get to drinking and partying with everyone else. And it's a lot of fun. And I think there was like a, there was definitely an after party in the van last night. I am very hungover. I don't have the facilities to make myself breakfast. Also, I've been out of internet connection for like 48 hours. So I'm gonna try and get on some Wi-Fi and see what's up. Because I was in the area, I decided I'm going to stop by Lake Dalrymple. Um, my family has been on Lake Dalrymple. Uh, Styles has been on Lake Dalrymple for a long, long time. So right now it's my uncle, and they own my grandparents' old place now. And he's not answering his phone. But you know, old people, cell phones. So I'm going to stop by and see if he's there anyway. Hi. 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 Okay. Gibson. Gibson. Hi, Gibson. I, I, I'm just so happy to see you. Hey, Linda. Hi, Linda. How are you? Good. I thought you were the telephone man. So, a few days ago, I rejetted the carburetor on the motorcycle. It went a bit like this. So, I've really been craving riding my motorcycle, but I can't seem to get it to run without the choke on. Which leads me to believe that there's something wrong with the uh, fuel to air mixture, the RPM seems weird, and uh, it's an old motorcycle, 1984, like I said before, so uh, basically that comes down to the carburetors. So I'm taking them apart, I'm going to make sure the idle jets are nice and clean, all the other jets are clean. I already cleaned it once to get it running, but apparently I didn't do a good enough job. So let's take this thing apart and see where I'm at. So there's a bunch of vent holes in there. There's three right there and one above it. The one above it's adjusted by this screw. And uh, I think that might actually be the fuel. So when you plunge the choke, which is here, um, yeah, like this, when you plunge the choke, that opens up the fuel that comes out this major hole here. And that comes up from down here in the float. There's a pipe right there. What I was finding is it was working fine when the choke was on. So that basically means that they're not really too worried about airflow. They're more concerned with fuel flow here. So it appears that this main jet not isn't gummed up at all. So that was working fine. But this little trickle jet, the idle one up here, this little guy in the front, looks like that might have been gummed up. I'm gonna go and spray clean. I'm using these wires right here. Little copper wiring from uh, my regular wiring uh, um, gear just to do electrical stuff, and uh, yeah, it's nice and soft metal, so it's not damaging anything, but it's picking away at any gunk that's in there. I haven't found any conclusive evidence of gunk though yet, so I'm gonna keep digging. Between one and one and a half uh, turns, so you tighten it up all the way till it fits, not too uh, tightly, but you know, nice and snug against the boot, and then you turn it one or one and a half turns, depending on the piece, and that's it. So I had to do that, I had to clean out every single one of these and uh, put it back together, put it back on the, uh, on the motorcycle and hopefully she runs well.
I got the uh, carburetor reassembled. It is, um, it's all right. I mean, one of the jets is stripped. The screen mounting it for it is jet is stripped a little bit, but that's just the back of it. And I flushed air through it, blast air through it. it. Still moves air, and it seemed like it was a little gunked up, but all of that came out. So I'm hoping it'll still work despite that. I don't know how the hell you remove a stripped jet adjuster or whatever. I don't know. Hopefully I won't have to because I don't know how to do it. But I don't know how to do any of this. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Anyway, gotta get the carburetor back in this motorcycle. Wish me luck. These damn rubber boots are so hard to get on. Yeah, and now it should definitely run. So I'm gonna pull it off of the back of the van. I'm gonna take it for a run around this area because uh, yeah, quiet back streets, I'll have no problem even though I don't have the plates on it yet because it still has to pass safety. And to pass safety, I'm waiting on more parts. A little bit more work, but for now, I'm gonna try riding it out for the first time. Nothing. I'm gonna need it. Ah, come on. There. not running great, I gotta work on it. I don't know, it's like... It's like the timing's off. It'll even backfire sometimes. The auto response is sluggish. We'll figure it out. Catching up on all my editing, I have a lot of weddings that I'm way behind. And then I uh, took a break, came out here to work on the motorcycle some more, and the neighbors helped me out. So we traced it down. First we thought it was fuel starving, and then we thought the spark plugs and the ignition might be weird, and then finally we traced it down to, it's like the computer, what's it called? the ignition box. Anyway, there was some faulty connections in the ignition box, a little bit of corrosion, cleaned it up a little bit, although I was still going to do a little bit more, but now it uh, runs like a charm. I'm going to take it for a test drive.
best feeling in the world. I got it screaming for a second there. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and then it just quit. Now it won't start. Uh, this is my life, man. Oh, I got the... Oh, this is so great, though. It's so great. I got it up to, like, 5,000 RPM, and it was, like... It sounded so good. And I know that I've got, like... The, the ceiling is so high on this. Like, 9,000? 10,000? That's crazy. Oh, motorcycles. I think I just blew one of the fusible links right up at my ignition module, so uh, ignition module is probably toast. One of my fuses. That was fun. Now I gotta go push this stupid bike all the way back. At least it's a light bike, so it's fairly easy to push. Oh, maybe I can drop kick it into gear. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, uh, it's not running so great. Uh, let's see if I can do this hill. <sighs> That's enough wrenching for today. I was just driving and I got up to the stop sign and I let off like the gas and I came to a stop. And I don't know if like I had stalled it, but it, it it was hiccuping a little bit too. Like it was doing weird like surges and hiccups and stuff. So I think like that ignition module is probably toast. Cause that was the thing that was causing it to skip beats all the time. Oh, okay, yeah. It's just like, it's like a computer that controls the spark. So I'm going to uh, look into ordering a new one of those. Along with the dozen other parts I've already ordered. Having a little bit of a cook up tonight. Celebrating riding the motorcycle or something. And we're having steak. Steak.